We've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing all right, Jared. Doing all right. No Ohio State football this week. No, no so this week. Yeah, I know. So we're going to pick an extra game here in our Sloop Picks. Yeah, normally we tell you, normally during the Sloop Picks, we're like, hey, we're going to pick seven games for you. And then at some point we're like, we're actually picking six because Ohio. we picked the Ohio State game on the other episode. And you have to go listen to that. Um, but uh, between this and then also we actually did this for the Youngstown State game as well because Vegas didn't put a line on that game. Or I think they did eventually put a line up, but it was too late for us. Point is, is that we're doing seven games. We're actually doing seven games on this episode today and not not doing the sneaky uh, seven minus one, which is what we normally do. All right, well, let's let's jump right into it then, Jared. So we pick a couple of noon games, a couple of mid afternoon games and then maybe a couple of night games here. So we'll start with the noon games here. Florida and Kentucky is our first one here. Uh, let's see here. Noon game, as I mentioned, on ESPN. This has to be a typo, Jared. Kentucky is a two and a half point favorite. That they are, although it actually says three and a half on the app. OK, three and a half. And the line must have moved. I, so it's actually why. Th- I, I, I guess I'm, I guess I'm. I, I, obviously, that t- that tells <laughs> tells you who, who I'm picking here, but I, I I just don't get it. What's what, what am I what am I missing from from Kentucky here? I don't know. Other uh, than it's a home game. Other than it's a home game. Feels it feels like a trap. It feels like a trap pick. It does. I'm Kentucky just... Kentucky's played Ball State, East Kentucky, Akron, and Vanderbilt. Not really the most, um, um, what's the word I want to use? Uh, Talented? Not great. Not, not great. Yeah, it's not, <laughs> it's not great. Not great, Jared. <laughs> At least Florida has been tested and we kind of know what Florida is. Yeah, they have, they had a bad week, uh, against Charlotte last week, only winning 22 to seven but it's better than playing East Kentucky. So I, I'll take Florida. I'll take Florida here. I just, I just, it feels like a trap, but I'm going to, I'll pick Florida. This feels like a trap. So I'm going to go counterintuitive and not go into the trap and pick Kentucky. What's one of our rules? If you're, um, if you're unsure, I picked the pick. well. We have two. If you've, when in doubt, pick the quarterback, and when yep. in doubt, pick the underdog. So that would have been Florida then, right? In which case, both. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to pretend like I know at Kentucky. As I haven't watched a ton of Kentucky football. Uh, as you've mentioned, their games have not Devin been. Devin Leary. They have yeah. Devin Leary over yeah. there. Yeah. I'm just saying, I, I, I know, and Devin Leary's. I'm just saying, as you mentioned, Kentucky has uh, played nobody uh, and therefore have not enticed me to actually watch any of their games this year. Like, full disclosure. Ouch. De- Devin, like, like those games there, I'm just looking at his stats here. I did not realize. Nine touchdowns, five interceptions against those teams. Not great. Florida actually Not played great. pretty well against Utah. Unforced errors tilted that scale. Yeah, but if you've seen what Utah has done since without Cam Rising. Yeah, not good. Utah is not a good football team. I mean, they're not a good offensive team right now. They're they're. I, I think they're still uh, an excellent defensive football team. Yeah. Point is, is that. Yeah, this week's this week's guest picker is a longtime uh, patron here, Stuart. Uh, so Stuart here has sent us his picks here, and he says for the Florida Kentucky game, Florida has a more talented roster, but they'll cover. But it's going to be a fight. 
There you go. All right. Another noon game, uh, the battle of who who wore or the orange best, who wore the color orange best, Clemson and Syracuse. Hey, Kyle, uh, you, you, new, want a, you want a fun statistic? Uh, noon game on ABC and... Is that a no? Because, because uh, and Clemson is a six and a half point favorite. Go Are on you just ignoring your, me at your this stat. point? Go on with your, with your little thing. I was, I was finishing I'll what I was going to say. Go on with my little thing. So first you ignore me and now you're being condescending. I was trying to finish what I was saying. And then you rudely so interrupted me. I never. Never. But go on. I was just going to say that an uh, 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 un... A lot of teams are wearing orange in our picks. That's all. It's really all I was going to say. Like a, a disproportionate number of the teams in our picks are wearing orange. Okay. That's all it. Right. All right. Who do you got? Nearly a third of them wear orange. And considering that not that many teams in college football wear orange, I felt like that was an interesting statistical outlier. Well, who, who do you got? Which which I'm which orange team went? Um, do you have here in this pick? Clemson is a six and a half point favorite. Uh, I'm actually probably going to go Syracuse here um, only because I think Clemson is actually very bad. Um, I would be happier if it was seven and a half. I'd be much happier if it was seven and a half. At six yeah, and a half, get, I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm still going to take Syracuse. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to pick the uh, the team that their uh, their their mascot is actually orange. So, yeah, I'll take Syracuse in this one to cover. Are are tigers not orange? Syracuse orange is is Syracuse mascot orange. They're like it's orange. I know but, I know it's hard, Jared, but just that's no. <laughs> but, but but you said that their mascot's actually orange, but tigers are orange. We're gonna we're gonna fight this episode. No, I no, I got what head. you were saying over the head. I got what you were saying. It's just that you were wrong. <laughs> yes, Jared. The tigers have stripes and not all tigers are orange. But most are. But not all. Not all oranges are orange. Make it make, make it make a huge assumption here, Jared. No, you're assuming that I said all. The and you're majority. assuming that when I said orange, I'm talking about a tiger. Tigers are orange. <laughs> you want to go down to the SEC side here? <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. Our, our next uh, pick them here you. is George, his Georgia right and right. Auburn. Oh, hey, look, Auburn. What's what's all? <laughs> These tigers aren't orange; they're purple. Jared. <laughs> I think these tigers are navy, actually. <laughs> the uh, other tigers Georgia. are purple. Clemson's purple. This is, I think, Auburn's more of a navy. I would say and Georgia's a fourteen and a half point favorite, and it's not enough. Georgia, Georgia covers this. Oh, we, we did. We we totally skipped Stewart in the uh, Battle of the Oranges. <laughs> I apologize. How did that happen? <laughs> I don't know. Some someone talked about oranges and assuming that all well, tigers are orange. Uh, Stewart here I says Clemson needs. They were all orange. <laughs> Stewart says Clemson needs a get back game. Unfortunately, for Cuz, they'll be on the receiving end. Clemson with ease. Hughes. Hmm. So we're probably wrong, Jared. You. <laughs> all right all right now on to georgia 14 and 14 and a half points here i got georgia who do you got 
Yeah. With Auburn, uh, Georgia's n- not looked great. Um, I do think I do think in the they first win. half. <laughs> in yeah. the first half of games. I also think uh, I think they're Georgia has some injury issues as well. Um, yeah, that's that's the thing with Georgia here. And uh, I'm not going to talk about Ohio State here, but Georgia. Yeah, Georgia's gotten a, quite a bit of the injury bug here. So, yeah, definitely be interested. But I. Yeah, I, I still feel comf- confident about Georgia covering here. Yeah, between the injury issues and them just not looking impressive to this point. Um, and I'm really happy that it's sitting there um, at 14 and a half as opposed to 13 and a half. I think that's important. Um, that that might true. that that might turn out to be very important. Uh, that is I'm going to go with Auburn here. All right. All right. Stewart says my dad lives in Alabama and is a huge Auburn fan. Unfortunately for him, they suck and will get dog walked by Georgia. Dog walked. Ah, yes. See, because because Georgia's the Bulldogs. Mm-hmm. Uh, like 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 that one. Yeah, it, <laughs> except that these these Bulldogs aren't um, orange. No. No, I've never seen a bulldog orange. I've seen or a bulldog even a team that were bulldogs or orange. Well, there is the dog pound in Cleveland, who often use a bulldog in some of their is imagery. Is it really a bulldog? I know they say a dog, but I don't think they really say a bulldog. No, I don't think they ever called it a bulldog. But they no. have used imagery about in the past. Here, Jared. But they have used imagery in the past that is a bulldog. Okay. See, it's a bulldog. Zach said so. I've seen hmm. I've seen other dog sources. logos. I need sources, weren't... Zach. How about using your goddamn eyes? See that he's a brown simp. He knows. There's your source. Your source is Zach's. Sympathy. All right. All right. Uh, we're we're going to move on. Kyle just looked up the answer, I see, found I see. out it didn't confirm what he wanted it to confirm, and now is going to pretend like he didn't look up the answer. No. All right. All right. Fine. Fine. I'll continue on here. The Cleveland Browns has two dog mascots. They use a Labrador. They use a Labrador uh, named Chomps, and in the past they used a a Bull Mastiff, which is what I'm used to seeing for our, for Cleveland. That kind of dog uh, dog as their mascot, named Swagger. A Bull Mastiff being not a bull dog; it's a Bull Mastiff. Completely different, Jared. Isn't that kind of like saying a Labradoodle isn't a Lab? And isn't a poodle, even though it's both. The Mastiff will be claimed as a bulldog. See. Zach's the Browns fan here. He gets final say. All right. All right. Uh, Moving on to uh, some uh, unfortunate colors. We're going to have to talk about Jared. Uh, Michigan taking on Nebraska. Which is a better color. Much better color. Much better color. Uh, what, what's the line he's, for this one? Th- Zach, 330 a, game, Fox, he's a lawyer, and not a uh, vet. Michigan is a 17 and a half point favorite. All right. <laughs> Sorry, just watching Buckeye Esquire's name pop up in the in the uh, <laughs> in the chat because he's been called. I'm sorry he's wasting your time. Esquire, this this is more of a um, this is this is more of a uh, bi- biological question than it is a legal question. Apologies uh, for sending up the wrong bat signal. As far as I know, we don't currently have a biologist or a uh, kettle owner or a veterinarian in the Discord chat that I am aware of. 
Kyle, um, I'm going to go to Nebraska here. I think Nebraska has a tendency to play good against good teams. I don't think that they win. I do think Michigan wins. Uh, I think the Michigan's been playing inferior opponents very closely. 17 and a half points is um, more than enough. I, I think it's, I think it's like a 10, 12 point game when it's said and done. Yeah, this was, this was a tough one for me just because at one side, Michigan's clearly the, the better team here and, yeah, they really should be able to win this with ease. And, and I they do struggled. think that they, they win it with ease. But they they str- they struggled against Rutgers. They pulled away in the second half. They struggled against Bowling Green. Pulled away in the second half. Um, they took, but they took care of business in their first two games, which was East Carolina and UNLV. But on the other side of this, though, Jared. Nebraska's just not good. You're not wrong. So I, I hope I'm wrong, but I, I, I'm going to pick Michigan to cover here. I just, I just have no faith in this, uh, in this Nebraska team here. So I'll, I'll, t- I'll take Michigan to cover. You hear that guys? Michigan fan. Yeah, but you, you you know what? I I picked Notre Dame to cover last week, and you all ripped on me for that. But uh huh, look look who here had got the point in our pickums. Yeah, the was it worth your soul? No, because Ohio State won still, and I got the point. Hmm. You're such a sellout. Seventeen and a half, seventeen and a half. Buckeye Esquire is Michigan and Nebraska. Such a sellout. All right, Stewart. Stewart says here, Michigan is good, but Nebraska players, uh, Nebraska plays better teams, though. I have the Huskers with tough. the points. Plays better teams, tough. Which I believe is what plays I said. Plays better teams, tough. Thank you. So, the only, what, 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 what teams do they play tough here? They played Minnesota. They lost by three. Lost heavily to Colorado, um, and they beat Northern he, Illinois and barely beat Louisiana Tech. I, I think he's going back to last year. Okay. You remember they, with the exception of the they almost never like lose big. They have a very strong tendency to only lose by one score. I hope I hope in this game, Jared, that at the end of the first quarter it's uh zero zero. So that when we see the score so that when we see the score at the end of the first quarter, we could see moon. All right, next up here, uh our third game for the 330 slot here. Kansas and Texas. Another 17 and a halfer. Another 17 and a halfer. Now, now I know what everybody's thinking here. Texas is on, is on a roll. Texas is back. Blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. But you know what? K- Kansas plays Texas tough. They've been playing them tough for, for a while here, though. Don't look now, Kyle. Kansas is ranked. They are ranked. This is this ain't your daddy's Kansas. And I feel like people are treating them like they are your daddy's Kansas. Uh, 17 well, it, and a it, half. I, I think Texas wins. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but 17 and a half just feels like too many points. Give me Kansas. Yeah, I. I, I agree. I, th- I I got Kansas here. I know I know last week what or last year was a big old blowout, but but you look at you look at other other games here. It's it it's been pretty close here. Uh, Kansas beat them in twenty twenty one when it was a typical Big Twelve shootout. 
and they also beat they also beat uh, Texas in 2016 as well too. So yeah, I, I think I think I think Texas will win this game, and I think they'll win um, easily. But I think I think Kansas will will cover though that 17 and a half. All right, what's Stewart say? Stewart says, Texas is back. I'm just glad it didn't come under Tom Herman. Texas will dominate this game from whistle to whistle. Give me Texas. Crap. It is. All right. Our first night game, we will head back to the SEC where LSU takes on Ole Miss. Uh, Ole Miss is, nope, LSU. It's a two and a half point favorite in this game. Was that a tip, Kyle? Uh, no, it wasn't because I, I got I got hey I I, I got the uh, Tigers who are not orange to win this game. They're in yellow. cover, in cover. They are yellow. Okay, but but that's not orange, Jared. I I never said it was. Okay, okay. Why are we agreeing with each other so aggressively? I don't know, because I'm waiting for you to pick. (laughs) Why? That doesn't make any sense. You're not making any sense. I will point out that this is the second tiger based team in our picks that wears purple. That's a statistical I thought you said Auburn wear navy. Kyle? (laughs) Go back a game before that. Kentucky? Yes, Kentucky. <laughs> no, Syracuse. <laughs> oh, wrong cat. Sorry. Kyle, the Clemson. <laughs> the Clemson. Dabos? Dabos. 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 They're the Clemson Dabos. The Clemson Dap Boys. All right. Who do you got, Jared? <laughs> um i think the only difference realistically in my opinion the only difference between lsu and ole miss is that people realize ole miss sucks and they just haven't realized that lsu sucks yet give me give me lsu or excuse me ole miss give me ole miss i said oh ole miss okay all right all right stewart says here chip kelly is an asshat but he's I a good agree. coach. Oh, I but don't he's a good agree. coach. I don't agree. You had me in the first half, Stuart. <laughs> LSU with the cover. You know, of all the people that try and label Ryan Day as like not a good big game coach, which again, statistically is false. You know who like the last dude I want in a big game? Chip Kelly. Franklin. Uh James. <laughs> I just I mean, saw Jared just he just sank in his chair about two inches like oh you're not wrong <laughs> <laughs> maybe Here, here's my thing James Franklin has had the unfortunate draw Herbal? of being in the same division as Michigan and Ohio State for his entire career um, Chip Kelly is not that great in, in big time games either. I know he's, he's had recent success the last year or two, but historically he hasn't either. Uh, two out of three of Joe's Joe Burrow's most recent teams have been Tigers. Yeah, that's been. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I, Only one he, of he picks orange. LSU. He picks LSU. He is an asshat, but no, he is not a good coach. Uh, I I do not, for the life of me, have never understood the 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 Chip Kelly hype. But he he makes such great uh, videos with recruits, though. <laughs> By the way, hold hold on. Something's been bugging me. He said Chip Kelly. It is Brian Kelly. You're all right. It is Brian Kelly. <laughs> I don't know why he said Chip Kelly in the. <laughs> I don't know. The better question is, why did 
it take both of us so long to question it? I don't know, because we're thinking of tigers. I don't know. <laughs> when When is a Chip Kelly not a Brian Kelly when he's orange? Don't think about it too hard. Just move forward to the next game, Kyle. Yep, we're going to move on to Notre Dame and Duke. Yes. Why am I why are, am I excited we, for Notre Dame versus Duke? Because I am. Because there's some hype of brown Duke that's not basketball or lacrosse. <laughs> uh yeah, this is in Durham this weekend here, night game. Uh, can Duke pull out another big upset here like they did against Clemson, which was also in Durham? Uh, Notre Dame is a five and a half point favorite in this game. Who do you got, Jared? I got Notre you, you Dame. Got, you got the Fighting from... Irish, or you got the Blue Devils? Mm. The Catholics or it's, the it's, Devils? It's, it's, it's a it's a battle of good against evil. Yes, I I won't I won't I won't mention who I think is on what side. Um. I, I think Notre Dame wins, but I think they win it close. I'm going I'm to go with Duke here. I just Notre Dame had their heart ripped out. Uh, I think it's 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 a very tough come down uh, to 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 come back from the Ohio State game um, is going to be difficult for them. Uh, I, I think this game gets played closer than it should be played as a result. Um, I think Duke has the lead late in the game, even um, or maybe they make a big comeback because maybe Notre Dame just wears out. Um, and, and, and maybe and maybe Notre Dame sleeps walk here, too. They they coming off that that tough, hard, just hard mouth football game from last weekend. Maybe they maybe they struggle in this game. Maybe they learned how to count. Maybe. Maybe or maybe they learn to uh, to take a penalty that only costs you half a yard. All right, in hold on, in Marcus Freeman's <laughs> defense, in Marcus Freeman's defense, he he did address. How how do you tell your how many yeah. teams do you think have a hand signal for hey jump off sides? How do you communicate that when you're, by the way, not even the coaches aren't allowed past, was it the 25 or the 30 yard line? You're not allowed to leave that box. Although they do all the time, but still yeah. you can't get that close to them. Stadium's loud. How do you communicate to them to, Hey, uh, jump off sides real quick. Buckeyes beat them twice. I don't think so. Uh, I do think Notre Dame beats Duke, but I think it gets played incredibly close. So I'm going to pick Duke to cover, uh, although I do think Notre Dame still wins. Through four games, Jared, how many points do you think that Duke has let up on average? 69. Oh, in average. On average. Not um, total, not total on average. What's 69 divided by four? Well, I guess it'd be 68 for the sake of easy math. That is 17. Just 17 points. 17 points. Uh, they haven't even let up 17 points once this year. They are averaging letting up 8.75 points per game. And that's against and that's against uh Clemson. Uh, only let up seven points and they only let up seven to Lafayette, 14 to Northwestern, and then seven last week to UConn. Now, Duke, Duke Time. a good defense? Time out. That, that is some of the worst offenses in college football. Yes, I'm including Clemson. But still, <laughs> but still, I mean, but still, Jared. U UConn... UConn's even more of a, but aren't you a basketball school than Duke? But ND yes, has I'll an offense. Uh, they do. Um, it's just, just not last week. Burn. 
eat that Sam Hartman. Yeah, I got I got Notre I got Notre Dame to cover here. I'm going to use one of your rules, Jared, where you know if I if I like a team to win and they are favored by less than a touchdown, I'll I'll, I'll still take them to cover. So I'll. Well, we have, we have great insight here from Woody. Clemson missed a field goal, had a field goal blocked, and fumbled twice inside the five. Oh, so if true. you're wondering, maybe that's why they were held to only seven. Now fumbling inside inside the five twice was that just because of good defense and stripping the ball? Maybe, I mean, maybe give Duke some some. Uh, some credit there did you say 14 in northwestern yeah i did that's i did that's a lot yeah th thank you duncan thank you duncan that does feel high well, all i'm saying is i don't i'm not i'm not buying in on this duke has a good defense I mean, bit they scored 37 last week to minnesota yeah and pj fleck needed his career put out of his misery <laughs> For Northwestern's credit, they beat Minnesota. That is to Minnesota's um, deficit. Yeah. Deficit's not opposite of credit. What's what's the opposite of credit? Whatever. We move forward. Stewart. Stewart says here, as long as Notre Dame learned to count to eleven this week, they'll get <laughs> back to the win column. I'll give I'll give the points and take the leprechauns. There you go. There you go from right. Stewart. And that is all seven games this week here. All right. Uh, how many differences I, did we have this week? Um, I don't know. I wasn't, I wasn't keeping track. <laughs> Fair enough. How, how, are you, what, how are you doing how many overall, Jared? How many different colors do Tigers come in? Two. Three, three colors. How are you doing in the picks so far, Jared? I had a decent week last week. Um, I went to over 500 last week. Yeah, so did I. I think you and I both um, got five, got five out of seven last week. There we go. It's a little bit of a little bit of a comeback, a little bit of a comeback week. Mm hmm. How are you doing overall, though? I have no idea. You, you want me to tell you? Sure. Mm, that was a long pause there. Uh, What's Duncan my percentage? Says worse than. <laughs> um, What's my I, I'm percentage? with you, Duncan. You, you, you and I are tied for sixth. You and I are tied for sixth. And I got to keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. There's not that many Don't, people in the pool, Kyle. I'm you still don't scrolling. Scroll that much. I'm still scrolling, Jared. You, here, the, there are, aren't that many people in the in in the pool. Uh, oh, you got you got. Four, I'm sorry, you got four last week. You got four. Um, you are down at fifteenth. Trying to ask, want to ask the follow up question or not? Go on. Out of eighteen, not last. <laughs> Kyle, uh, who is first? Some... Uh, Kyle. Kyle. It's, it is a. It Kyle is a. Hold on. It time. is a. It is a five-way tie, including. Chup Daddy, Cousin Jay, Zach, Nomad, and uh, I'm not sure who this person is here. This is the first I've seen him here. Uh, Z Zoslid? Uh, would that be um, AZ, our, one of our new patrons? It could be. It could be AZ, yeah. Um, Kyle, before we end... 
Austin sent us some bi week over uh, bi week over unders. We have a bi week edition of Austin's over unders. I just pasted them into the show notes. All right, all right. We'll go through them real quick here. Uh, Florida and Someone Kentucky. Someone wanted to talk about Tigers all episode. Uh, Florida and Kentucky. Mertz touchdowns at one and a half over. Go under. Over. All right. Clemson and Syracuse. Shipley scrimmage yards over under 127 and a half. I'll go under. I'm going to go over. It's the scrimmage yards. It's 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 the receptions added in that that's that true. gets me. That gets me. That's true. Texas and Kentucky total game yardage. Good Lord. Seven hundred and eighty nine and a half. Seven hundred and eighty nine. Eighty nine and a half. Round that up to eight hundred. So. Um, four hundred a piece. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go under. I'm just I'm just curious on what the uh, uh, averaging both teams are combined averaging eight hundred and ninety five yards of offense. Huh? But I'll go. But I'll go under. <laughs> okay. Georgia Auburn defensive sacks for Georgia at three and a half. I'll go under. I'll go under in this one. I agree. All right, Nebraska and Michigan. Edwards and Corum combined touchdowns at two and a half. Over. Yeah, I'll go over. He doesn't say rushing touchdowns that so. Yep. Receiving touchdowns would be included, which could be very important. Yep. LSU and Ole Miss. uh, Dart throwing 20 plus yard passes. Three and a half is the number he has there. And I'll go I'll go under for this one. Go over. All right. And the last one. Notre Dame, Duke, Artman passing yards over under 314 and a half. And I'm going to go under because I think Duke's defense is going to be stingy enough that he's not going to be able to pass that much. I think Duke. I I, I don't know what Duke's defense is. Uh, I'm, I'm not I'm not waiting. I'm not ready to crown their ass like Kyle has. Um. I'm going to say over. Um, Duke Duke is letting up 140 yards in the air per game. Against Northwestern and UConn. And Clemson. And Clemson. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that supposed was that supposed to improve your case? A little bit. Okay. Well, that's that is it. Those are the those are all the over unders that Austin sent us here. You got anything else for this weekend here? Not as not as many uh rank on rank games or like really big games that we had last week here, but I think I think there's some I think there's some other interesting games to keep an eye out for. I think Utah and Oregon State may be a really close one. May, might not be that many points, but I think it could be a close one Friday night. Uh, what else? What else we got here? Will USC go for the high score against Colorado? And by the high score, I mean beat them worse than Oregon did. Maybe. Maybe. I want to see USC go for the high score. Friday should yeah I agree Friday be Friday should be only for high school yes I, I agree, agree with that Zach, yeah no I agree with him Kyle okay All right you did good job <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, yeah, there's not that many games. I'm looking like, oh, there's got to be another good game here. No, not no, really. No, no, not really. No. It's. You know, you know, a couple. You know, a couple of weeks ago when we said this is a, like uh, before the Notre Dame it's good, week, it's it was like this is weekend. a good week. This is a good week to get some chores done. Yeah, yeah. This is a good week to get some chores done. La- two two weeks ago was for chores. This is a good wife weekend. Um, mm-hmm. go go see the leaves or something. Yeah, fall summer's officially over. Uh, maybe get some some fall chores going there. It'll be a good weekend to do. My that. Le- my leaves are still green. I don't know about y'all. Oh, it's still green here, Jared. You're in North Carolina, though. I'm in Ohio. I feel like my leaves should be turning by now. I'll give it a couple weeks. <laughs> it's been it's been a pretty mild summer. It's been a pretty mild fall. In that, yeah, it has sure. yeah, so far, yes, uh, yeah, yeah, still green there. Okay. Yeah, Duncan, I imagine we're pretty much in uh, in the same hardiness zone is that the correct phrase fall just started i understand that like by calendar definition fall just started but it's also not true like fall fall started i technically speaking i we all know what i mean shut up fall doesn't actually start when fall technically starts we all know this this is this is this is a known I'm a grass farmer, not vegetables. I don't know what that means. Hardy, a hardiness zone is for anything, I think. Unless that's not what you're talking about. I don't care about equinoxes or equinoxes or any of the noxes. They, They mean nothing to me. I know what the weather feels like. And I know that fall starts in September, the beginning of September. Sometimes late August. I go off astronomy. Well, at least it's not astrology. Take that. I don't care about your equinoxes. I don't care about your astrologies. I saw a duck yesterday. Was that weather? Yes. (laughs) Uh, tonight's ending music is Courtney from work. Courtney from work is tonight's ending music. So with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, this is Courtney from work. Mm-hmm.